Little bear. Hi, baby. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit of my thoughts from some of the books that I've been reading this week, the two books that I've been reading this week. One of them would be Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo, and the other one would be the continuation of Gardens of the Moon by Steven Erickson. Before I get into that stuff, I have a question for all of you. It has nothing to do with books. Kind of, sort of has to do with just general hygiene and not smelling. And, uh, and that would be, how many of you have gotten most of the way through your day before realizing that you never put on any deodorant? Because that's currently where I'm at, and it's hot in my house right now because I have to turn my air conditioning off when I record, otherwise it will sound like there's a storm brewing. So I'm like, oh, it's kind of warm, and I changed to a t-shirt when I got home, and I was like, oof, no, no. Anyway, the books that I've been reading. So Crooked Kingdom, for those that don't know, is the sequel to the Six of Crows story. It's a part of the duology, so it's the completion of that story. And I read the first one forever ago, and then I picked it up again recently and reread it because I really wanted to finish the duology, but I just didn't think I should start right with the second one because there's a lot of things I didn't remember about the first one. So I'm really glad I reread it. I liked the first book so much more upon reread. It's a story that is a high story. There are six main characters in the first one. You don't get a perspective for every single one of them, but you have a, a few that you get to know really well. And then I'm almost done with Crooked Kingdom right now. And I think it's fair to say you get to know the other characters. You get to know them a lot more, and then the ones that we already were starting to get to know, you get to know them a lot more as well. So it's definitely, I think, a character-driven story, even though there's kind of, in the first one, a specific plot of, it's a heist story, we need to go perform this really intense heist. That's kind of the plot. I don't know why I put quotes, that is the plot of that story. And even though that's the plot of the story, I don't think it's plot driven. Usually when a plot is that specific, I would say it's plot driven, but, but these books are so much about the characters. And with Crooked Kingdom, I find that to be even more true. The plot itself, it, you can't identify it the way you could in Six of Crows. It's a little more mushed and hard to, to define, and I'm okay with that. I've been really enjoying the second book. I do plan to, to do a review and spoiler chat for it. Regardless though, I, I, really, I really am glad that I decided to give this duology another go, and I'm liking where Crooked Kingdom is going. If I manage to finish it before the end of this vlog, I'll keep you guys an update. What I will say is, it's not an indication of bad writing whatsoever, I just, in a way, I, I guess you could say it's an indication of good writing. There is one character that I do not like. I hate this guy. I hate him a lot. And... We're gonna wait and see till I finish the book to see if that stays. But as of right now, there are just some things about this character that I feel like nobody has ever, I don't know, I've personally just never seen people talk about this person, this character, and I'm like, but they're kind of the worst. So yeah, that's where I'm at with, with Crooked Kingdom. I'm unfortunately not done with this week's portion of the Malazan reading. I probably won't be finished with it till the end of tomorrow, which will be Sunday, because today's Saturday. So I don't think I'll get to talk about it that much in depth like last week I did where I gave spoilers for that first chunk, but that works out for those of you who haven't finished reading the chunk or who don't want spoilers, but it's still dense. It's still what it is, still Malazan being Malazan-y where you're like, oh, I guess there's more people now and I guess I don't know what's going on. That's kind of still where it's at, but that's okay with me. I know you guys told me give it a few books, which is a lot to ask, but I'm, I'm excited for it. I'm really pumped to get more into it. But I do wanna share really quick. One of you in the buddy read, in the group, the Facebook group, shared a hilarious post that I just was cracking up at, and my husband's been buddy reading the book too, and he also thought it was hilarious. So if, I, I want you guys to see it, because I think it's really funny. So I'll go ahead and put that up on the screen. So you guys get a good little chuckle the same way the hubby and I did. Anyway, definitely let me know for those of you that are reading Malazan with me. What are your thoughts so far? Are you liking it more now? Are you not liking it as much now? And for those of you that have read Crooked Kingdom, 
I, will, I think you guys should guess the character I'm talking about. I want to see how many of you can guess. I'll go ahead and put up a little poll, but also if you don't want to vote and you actually want to say why you think it's a certain person, I already gave away that it's a he. So there's like, that limits, you know, a bunch of the characters out. But I, I want to see if you guys can figure out who it is. I don't know if you can. I don't know. Maybe you can. Maybe you can totally tell and I'm not, uh, I'm not doing a good job of hiding it. I don't think you guys are going to guess it though, but we'll see. Last week, I asked Sean to provide you with his thoughts of Malazan so far, and I think he did a great job. Definitely agree that there needs to be a character named Rugged Shovel. Don't know why Steven Erickson doesn't have a person named Rugged Shovel, but I think we need some kind of hashtag, like hashtag justice for Rugged Shovel or something. We need something because it's really, it's a crime. But because I love my husband and I think he's great, and you guys seem to always have fun when he comes on the channel, when he gets home, I'm going to ask him to give us his thoughts, because his thoughts are great and hilarious. But anyway, yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I hope you enjoy Sean being Sean and Luna being Luna, because I'm going to show you some clips of Luna now. Luna. Is Gardens of the Moon boring to you? Hmm? If you think it seems interesting, stand. Are you enjoying your belly rub? <laughs> oh. <laughs> pet me more, Dad. Pet me more. No. Oh. <laughs> You're such a good girl, Luna Bear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Luna, you drink so loud. You drink so loud. Luna, we need to get out of the car. Come in. There you go. <laughs> What's your deal, huh? Let's go. Come in. Oh my gosh. Come on. You're being ridiculous. You're being ridiculous. This is getting very silly. Luna. Hey. Hey, Missy. What's your deal? You get in and out of the car all the time. Come on. Let's go. Oh, help. Come on. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Good girl. Thank you for the kisses. Come on. Come on. Little bear. Howdy, everyone. This is Sean again, recording my thoughts on Malazan week two. So starting off, well, the beginning of the book was very like, oh, this is also new. And then this section was like reading a D&D &D campaign because we have a thief and we've got an assassin. We've got a guild of assassins. We've got assassins assassinating assassins. we got thieves being mistaken for assassins is a lot of assassins and it just kind of felt like to me like like they picked their class at the beginning of the game They're like I don't want to be an assassin I want to be a thief so it was, it was it was good a lot of more characters and you know I if I lived there I wouldn't be a thief or an assassin I would be a merchant a silk merchant that's what I would do to make some coin so I don't know these rough and tumble types are strange to me but that's where that, that's my thoughts not a whole lot this week thank you for tuning in mm -hmm.